Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, don't forget to click the subscribe button if you want more videos about coding interviews. So in this video, we'll be solving the lead code problem, jump game 2. Before I explain how we will solve the problem, please watch my previous video in which I solved the first version of the jump game problem. So the problem is that we are given an array of integers of length n, and each element in the array represents the maximum number of steps we can jump. For example, if we are at the first element, in this array we can jump from index 0 to index 2. So the task is to return the minimum number of jumps needed to reach the last element in the array. For example, if we have this input array, the number of jumps needed to reach the last index is 2. So if we start from index 0, we can jump from index 0 to index 2 with a jump of size 2. Then we can jump from index 2 to index 4 with a jump of size 1, which means we reach the last index of the array. So to solve this problem, we're going to use a technique called the greedy algorithm and the greedy algorithm is an approach to solving a problem by selecting the best choice or decision at each step with the hope of reaching the best solution so here we will use the greedy algorithm to find the minimum number of jumps needed to reach the end index of the input array by selecting the best jump at each step so let's take an example so that you can see how the greedy algorithm is gonna work let's say for example we have this input array so to show how it's work we'll start at the first element of the array which is 1 and add a pointer at the end of the array which is 11. So the first element is 1 which means we can jump one step at the maximum reach will be the number 4. The second element in the array is 4 which means we can jump 4 steps and the maximum reach is index 5 which is element 4. Next we have 2 which means we can jump 2 steps forward to index 4 with element 3 and the next element is 8. So we can jump 8 steps forward which means we will pass the last index of the array so the next element is 8 so we can jump 8 steps forward which means we will pass the last index of the array moving to the next number which is 3 we can jump 3 steps the next number is 4 so we can jump 4 step forward finally we have 8 and 4 and 11 and the same thing will be repeated so each number represent the number of jumps or the maximum reach that we can reach so now that we have all the path and or arrows representing the numbers of jump let's see how we can implement the greedy algorithm to solve this problem so as i explained before we'll select the best choice at each step with the hope of finding the jump that will help us to reach the last index in the input array so we will traverse the first element and reach index one with element four next we will choose the best choice or the longest number of jumps we have at the moment so at this moment we only have one element which is four so we will jump four steps to reach the index five with element four so we need to make the best choice with the hope of reaching in the last index of the input array again in this case the base choice we have is an element with a value of 8 which is at index 3 so we can jump 8 step and reach the last index with element 11 which is the last index of the input array so we don't need to consider the element at index 4 with a value of 3 because it will not help us to reach the last index of the input array so here we will need three jumps to reach the last index and the array so can we can return 3 as a result so the greedy algorithm provide a solution with the time complexity of all of n because we are looping throughout the array and making the best choice at each iteration and for the space complexity is all of one because we are we are only using variable and we are not using any data structure to store the result which is an optimal solution for this problem so however it may not always provide an optimal solution for other problems in those cases we may need to use other algorithms such as dynamic programming or backtracking to find the optimal solution so in conclusion the jump game problem can be solved efficiently using the greedy algorithm both version the first version and the second version so to summarize we are using the greedy algorithm to find the minimum number of jumps required to reach the end of the input array so we start at the first element and at each step we select the best jump that will take us closer to the end of the array by doing this we hope to find the shortest path to the end that's it guys i hope now you have a clear picture of how you can solve the problem so let's jump at coding the solution first we start by initializing three variables the first variable is current and jump and the second one is max and jump and the third one is jump so the current and jump variable gonna keep track of the index where the current jump ends and the max and jumps 
keep track of the index where the max jump ends. And the last variable is jumps, which you're gonna keep track of the number of jumps required to reach the last index of the input array. So we then traverse the input array using a for loop at each index we update the max and jump variable by taking the maximum of its current value and the sum of the index and the value at, at that index of in the array. We then check if, if we have reached the current and jump index, it means we have completed a jump. So we update the current and jump variable to be the max and jump and increment the jump variable. Finally, we return the jump variable, which represent the minimum number of jumps required to reach the end of the input array. So it's easy, guys. So that's that's for the code explanation. I hope this video was helpful in understanding how to solve the jump game 2 problem using the greedy algorithm. If you have any question or comment, please leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos on coding interviews. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.